Thank you. Uh, my name is Thomas Lang, L-A-N-G-E. I am a resident in District 21 in Lincoln, Nebraska. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen of the committee, thank you for the opportunity to speak. I come here as a resident, as I said, of Lincoln. He wants to quick, quickly tell you a little bit about myself. I grew up, as I would think, as kind of a clever child. And recognizing that I had two different parents, I would often gauge which parent would be more likely to permit what I aimed to do. I'll just let that concept sink in for a moment. And note that all children try this. And the best parents make sure that the other parent is apprised of the situation by telling the children to go ask the other parent. I'm also a lawyer who's practiced law for over a decade and now in two states, Wisconsin and Nebraska. There are many laws which differ between these states, but there is a constant that lawyers are expected to adhere to and follow the laws of the states and the rules of procedure within the courts. This detail is pertinent because I believe that this bill has found its way to this committee through acts of deception, perversion, and subversion. And I mean no disrespect to this committee, but it is in the wrong committee. I know of no judge in front of which I've ever appeared who wouldn't see right through any similar type of attempt to subvert or pervert any procedural rule in any fashion which parallels what we've seen on LB68's path here. I would expect any judge to take such a lawyer to task. And yes, in federal courts there is often something known as form shopping, which happens. Many judges see right through it and many cases stifle it when they can. I fully expect that the proponents of this bill have and will try to justify and legitimize the path of this bill. Like the judges I mentioned, I know of nobody here with any grounding in fact, reality, logic, and critical thinking who cannot see right through the attempt to ease, and I want to emphasize ease it through the most the least resistant path, pass any scrutiny without full scrutiny in the Judiciary Committee. This process has been subverted and perverted in an attempt to move it without full scrutiny. As Ms. Gailey noted, this bill would likely face a much clearer obstacle in the Judiciary Committee. If the proponents of this bill wish to demonstrate that they possess the constitution and depth of character befitting our state legislators, I would call on them to pull this bill route it through the proper committee so they can get the proper and warranted attention it needs. Thank you for your time. Show that you have a spine and reject this bill. Make its proponents put it through the right committee using the right procedure. Stand for the rule of law and the rules of procedure in our unicameral. I would note my words are a little bit strong. I intended them to be strong to emphasize we need to stand for the rule of law as senators of good character. Each and every person needs to do that. And I would simply just add that I oppose this bill for its substance as well as its perfect.